Hello and welcome to Fun Quiz. Today we have 10 questions and one bonus round all about the best of British television. Don't forget to press pause if you need more time. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe because if we reach a thousand subscribers, we'll be able to make more quizzes. Right, if you're ready, here we go for question number one. Which actor starred as the first Doctor Who? Was it Patrick Troughton, William Hartnell, John Pertwee, or was it Tom Baker? The answer is, it was William Hartnell. Right, on to question number two. Who starred as Dr. Watson in the 2009 film Sherlock Holmes? Was it Hugh Laurie, Colin Firth, Martin Freeman, or was it Jude Law? The answer is, it was Jude Law. Righty, here we go for question number three. Who voiced the character of the Cheshire Cat in the 2010 film Alice in Wonderland? Was it Hugh Laurie, Rowan Atkinson, Stephen Fry, or was it Jude Law? The answer is, it was Stephen Fry. Right, on to question number four. Who wrote the sitcom Only Fools and Horses? Was it Ray Butt, Tony Dow, John Sullivan, or was it Dennis Main Wilson? The answer is, it was the legend himself, John Sullivan. Right, here we go for question number five. Which British film first won Best Picture at the Academy Awards? Was it Deer Hunter, Hamlet, Oliver, or was it Kess? The first British film to win Best Picture was Hamlet. Right, on to question number six. Which sitcom did Richard O'Sullivan not star in? Was it Man About the House? Me and My Girl, Porridge, or was it Robin's Nest? The answer is, it was Porridge. Right, okie dokie, here we go for question number seven. In The Good Life, which newspaper Christmas hat does Margot refuse to wear? Was it The Sun, The Mirror, The Guardian, or was it The Daily Mail? Right, the answer is, it was The Mirror. And that was definitely a comedy classic. <laughs> right, on to question eight. Who was the first person to appear on Channel 4? Was it Jules Holland, Jonathan Ross, Richard Whiteley, or was it Chris Evans? I remember this well, because he was presenting Countdown. It was Richard Whiteley. Right, here we go for question nine. What year did Top of the Pops launch on UK TV? Was it 1963, 1964, 1960 or 1962? The answer is it was 1964. Here we go for question number 10. What length sentence does Fletcher receive in the sitcom Porridge? Was it five years, three years, four years or was it six years? The answer is, I know this one well, it was five years. Right, if you need a bonus round, then here we go, good luck. Name Betty and Frank Spencer's baby in Some Mothers Do Have Them. Was it Francesca, Beth, Betty, or was it Jessica? The answer is, her name was Jessica. <laughs> right, how did you do? I hope you did well. Don't forget to let us know how you did in the comments. In the meantime, make sure you come back soon and check out our other quizzes. There's loads to choose from. See you soon. Bye.